Hi, my name is John Fisher. I'm a Chopper member for over 20 something years. And this is my 1932 Ford 5 window. I studied industrial design at Art Center after high school. I did a lot of design for aerospace and on the side, you know, custom car and hot rod stuff as well. My first job out of school was in animation. I worked on Batman the Animated Series, which was all streamlined and really fun. I used uh, what I learned with aerodynamics and car design on that show. I got into hot rods probably six years old or even before that. From Hot Wheels and model kit building and also movies, B-movies. My first hot rod was probably a 63 Comet. I have a 32 sedan, 36 three-window coupe. I have a Model A Roadster, 29. I have a, a 60 Buick. I have my first car. I don't know if you want to know about that one, but it's a 1960 Volkswagen Bug. Still have it. I'm trying to finish my T project that's kind of ongoing that I found in Turlock. Yeah, a lot of projects need the time. Um, I got this car about 10 years ago. Wow, time's flying. <laughs> when Dean found the car, it was in Burbank and it was just a rolling chassis and I don't know what it had for a motor, but he got it all kind of on its feet. At first, he wanted to swap frames, and the reason was there was an old picture that was unearthed on Hot Rod Deluxe magazine, and it showed Valley Custom working on this car that had the 34 frame, Bob and molded in fenders. It turns out it was a Valley Custom car. After that, he saw that photo, and he heard, I have a 34 frame on my 32 sedan, because it's channeled on it, and he wanted to trade. So he came over one day and we're, you know, looking over both of our chassis and he already finished his 32-3 window and I, I think he was too tired to keep on going with, uh, you know, a complete car and switching frames so he gave me the first offer and when he told me that I was, uh, I was pretty up in the air, you know. It was purple in color. I got kind of tired of that and made it more of a Tahitian red. Before it was just red oxide primer. And before that, from some pictures that I found, it was just kind of beat up in the 70s. White over maybe red oxide primer, I don't know. When I got the car, it was more of a 60s style. It had American uh, rear wheels with uh, slicks. I made it more, you know, kind of 50s because it was supposed to have been built in 1956. I just got steelies in back and put 56 Mercury hubcaps, spinners. Wheels and tires always make a big difference. It's been channeled, you know, the body used to be above the frame and it's been lowered down over the frame. You can see uh, the floor was cut and raised up. Um, it's been chopped, of course. So aside from the chop and channel, the rear fenders were molded into the body and the, the back has been bobbed and cut under. It did have a flathead, but it's got a Chevy now. Valley Custom did a lot of uh, early custom cars during the 50s, uh, channeled and sectioned. They were located in Burbank, pretty close to Lockheed Skunk Works, which is funny. I wonder if they crossed paths. They had a great eye for style. With the minimum amount of tools, they had, they had mostly hand tools and they did everything pretty much by hand. For the time, you know, it's amazing what they could do. They didn't do as many hot rods. They did mostly custom, so there's a few hot rods they've done, as far as we know. I've always admired Valley Custom because they've been in Burbank and they've come out with such amazing cars and created so many beautiful sculptures on wheels. <laughs> it's been in Burbank supposedly the whole time. It's great that our car club is also from Burbank and we can drive by there and flash back to how it was probably back then. 